how is everyone holding up out there? I hope that you are staying healthy and staying safe. Um, I've got a interesting little video for you today that I thought would be pretty timely. I know a lot of us are choosing to stay at home, which is the smart thing to do. Um, this is like day 12 of my self-imposed quarantine. The governor of North Carolina just put in the um, shelter in place order like yesterday. So I'm going to be home until at least April 9th or something like that. So I am trying to think of ways that I can use this time really thoughtfully and really wisely. I have had a lot of Sojo, which has been really great. I've been able to work on a lot of projects, projects that I had planned that you saw in my uh, March plans video, but also a lot of stuff that I was just like spontaneously like, let's work on this, which is the result of the DIY um makeup remover pads but that just kind of came to me just in a moment and I was inspired to do it very spontaneous um so today I'm going to give you three ways that right now you can kind of use this downtime to level up your sewing not just the practice of sewing but actually learning something new about sewing and tackling tasks that you want to be better at so you guys know I've talked about my struggle with pants for a long, long time, and I've actually had two really great uh, pants projects come out recently. One are the Burnside bibs that I'm wearing right now, and the other one were the closet case pattern overalls. So both kind of similar in the fact that the waist was going to be a little bit forgiving, but I did tackle the crotch curve and depth and you know all of that that goes on in that area of your body to get it to fit really well and not just rely on the straps to hold it up. So that's kind of what got me thinking about this like what are some things I've really wanted to dive into that I haven't because I've had a lot of projects going on or a lot of things going on outside the home that have kept me out of my sewing room yada, yada, yada. So the first one is kind of in that vein of learning new skills. Uh, Blueprint, formerly known as Craftsy, they have all of those classes online. They have made their entire library of classes completely 100% free for the next two weeks. So through April 9th, coincidentally, through the entire <laughs> shelter at home order from the North Carolina governor, um, all of the blueprint classes are 100% free. You do have to sign up with them, but you do not have to give them a credit card or they don't keep any of that information, payment information on file. You literally just go there and watch as many classes as you want. In terms of sewing, there are so many great classes. Actually, a lot of the classes that were at Sew Expo uh, are also on this blueprint. Um, everything from, you know, finishing details, like how to use interfacing, to uh, improving certain skills like collars or uh, button plackets. Um, there are fitting classes, there are styling classes, there are just everything you can possibly think of. And if you're not into the video watching thing, because some of them are pretty long, you know, they're broken up into like 30 minute sessions. There are also little uh, written uh, stories or blogs, however you want to look at it as well. And those are short three to five minute reads on all of, you know, similar topics uh, about how you can, you know, take what you know about sewing and level up a little bit. So I have a link in the description box for you guys to use. It'll take you over to Blueprint so you can start watching some of those classes. The second thing I wanted to mention was the idea of diving into a topic like deep, diving really, really deep. And when I was at Sew Expo, I took a class from Lorraine Henry and really drank the Lorraine Henry juice. I am completely hydrated on it. I went so far as to order the textbook, the textbook, like this is what is taught in schools um that she uses to teach her fitting and this textbook goes into so many details of specifically about fitting um with pattern alterations 
which is what like I'm not that interested in learning how to draft my own I mean I guess a little bit but more importantly I want to take pattern pieces and alter them to fit my body and that's what that textbook does there are a lot of other textbooks out there that cover many different areas of sewing but this one in particular will have you take all of your measurements compare your measurements to the pattern pieces and then depending on where those numbers do not match up it'll give you the alteration that you should do and then three ways <laughs> to do that alteration i know it's crazy um things that i never would have even considered having an alteration like forward head alteration literally forward head is what it says um so there's a lot of different things larger neck thinner neck um flared lower ribs and you're like how do i know if i have flared lower ribs well it'll tell you um the body measurement positions that you need and then the pattern measurement comparison so if your pattern full bust front is correct but your pattern at midriff front is too narrow then you need a flared lowered ribs alteration so this is what i'm saying you can go in deep 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 on your body you can pick one pattern and really nail it in terms of the fit um and that to me is just a great way to spend all of this extra time that we have so i'll have a link in the description box where you can get that exact textbook otherwise head to amazon do a search for whatever you're interested in and i'm sure lots of textbooks will show up i can really only vouch for this one though because it's the only one that i have currently but um as you can see it is a wealth of knowledge the last thing I wanted to mention is, and I have more information on this tomorrow, but it is uh, Cricut is doing uh, a whole bunch of blogs on their website for stay at home tutorials. So tutorials on how to do things using materials that you already have at home and Cricut tools and supplies. So the understanding here is that you would have a Cricut machine and you would have some basic Cricut supplies. I am doing a tutorial tomorrow on a couple of things I made with my Cricut maker using scrap fabric that I already had at home, but they're going to be doing a lot of blogs um, with other ideas. You know, Cricut isn't just for sewing. It is for home decor and wearables, things that you haven't sewn, you know, um, and different stuff like that. So I'll have a link to the Cricut blog below to where you can kind of like use your Cricut machine in ways that maybe you haven't tried before. Like this past holiday season, I was doing all of that crafting on my Cricut and I was, you know, finding myself, you know, doing um, the balsa wood and doing the really thick corrugated, um, it's not card, it's not corrugated. It's just, what do they call it? Craft board. Um, so I was using all these materials that I had never really even had before and playing around with it really and now is the time to try something and maybe have a fail maybe have not a fail but have learned something along the way I think that that kind of helps boost our spirits a little bit whenever we're using those parts of our brains that we don't usually tap into and when it comes to sewing if we're sewing the same things all the time in the same ways it can be kind of mundane. So this is a great way to kind of challenge yourself to do things differently and better. Um, so yeah, just a fun, quick little idea for all of you guys. Like I said, I'll have links in the description box where you can access these three things and let me know what else you guys are doing to not only pass the time, but do it with intention and wiser. Will you come out of this a better sewist than you started? Will you? <laughs> That's going to do it for me today. Check back tomorrow for my Cricut tutorial. I will see you all very soon. Bye.